Welcome to Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire for some bonus coverage of the Pro Series Random Draw Doubles Tournament. This is a semi-final match between the team of Jesse Jakes and Jeff Slesinski and their opponents Brandon Marks and Kevin Davis. And we'll get right to the action. Brandon Marks on the right lane and Jesse Jakes on the left lane. Brandon punches out two and Jesse with just one. Pretty tough starts for both guys. Great shot by Brandon Marks with a spare. And right on top of him, Jesse Jakes. Not to be outdone. Let's look at both of these on replay. Brandon Marks hits the one three pocket kind of medium and converts the spare very nicely. Jesse Jakes punched out the two pin and he throws effectively throws a strike on the second ball. Gets every gets the other nine in a hurry. So spare versus spare in the first box. Brandon Marks and Jesse Jakes. Brandon with a six drop. Leaving a split. Three, four, six, ten. Jesse Jakes with a seven drop. He's got the one, eight, and ten. There is a great spare by Brandon Marks. Another terrific spare. Jesse with a great bid on that one, eight, ten. Got the one and ten. Couldn't get anything to cover the eight pin, so he'll be open in a second. And he'll have a nine, so it's 26 after two for Jesse Jakes. 26 plus a ball for Brandon Marks. Punches out the four pin again, goes to the left. On the first. Ball. Nice try there. He almost came back and made another spectacular shot. But he'll be open, as will Jesse Jakes, who punches the head pin straight back. Brandon with a 10 in the third box. He's got 37 through three. Jesse also with a 10, he's got 36. Brandon rolls out of Central Park in East Boston, and he's also in the, I think he's in the Sunday Pro League at Park Place. He's got a seven drop, leaving a five, six, 10. Jesse Jakes, meanwhile, four horsemen left with some wood. Terrific spare. Brandon has made three excellent spares. Converts that 5, 6, 10. Jesse misses the head pin. He will have the head pin alone for his third ball. That would be a 9. Jesse has 45 through 4. Brandon marks with 47 plus a ball. And you can see him practicing his swing. He doesn't want to go to the left again. And he punches out a half Worcester. Just a 2 and 8. Tough break. But that does give him a 4 pin lead. 49 to 45 through 4. Jesse Jakes with a 6 drop looking at 2, 4, 5, 7. And he makes it. Spare in the fifth for Jesse Jakes. Brandon Marks with 10, giving him 59. And look at this spare by Jesse. I think a very light hit. I think that's the four pin that comes off the wall. And it, it hits the seven, then goes off the wall and comes back into the five. So that'll bring up Jeff Slazinski and Kevin Davis. And Kevin also punching out the half Worcester. Really, he and Brandon. Both struggling a little bit with the uh, with the punches, but there is a fantastic spare right there. The half Worcester goes down. Let's look at this. This is a really nice shot. Kevin goes to the outside, right side of the head pin, and that's uh, again it's like throwing a strike on the second ball. That would have been a strike if he had thrown it on the first ball. Jeff Slazinski matches the spare. Gets that head 
had been. Kevin Davis. Looking to. And it's an identical half worcester. Jeff Lezinski drops seven. He's going to split three, four, and six. Kevin Davis, solid on the head pin. Pushes it straight back. He's still got five pins remaining. Jeff Lezinski takes out the three, six, but isn't able to get the four, so they'll both be open. There's a nice out by Kevin. Nine in the second box. He's got 21 through two. Jeff Lezinski also with nine. He has 26 through two. Punished at this point. Too overused, my favorite expression. Another ball on the object pin. Again, punches it straight back. Meanwhile, Jeff is looking at one, two, and seven. And that piece of wood robbed him. He hit, split the one and two, but that the piece of wood to the neck, to the left of the two pin, deflected the ball, so it didn't hit the seven pin. And there is Kevin Davis hit the object pin on all three balls, but ended up with a five box. How often does that happen? You really can't fault the uh, the bowler. He hit the object pin three times. That's all you can ask for. And another split in the fourth. He's got to be wondering what's going on here. Jeff Lezinski with a seven drop. He's got the three... Six and nine. There's got some wood that might help him make this. And he's got it. I, I think there was a piece of wood behind the three that deflected the ball and the six pin off the wall. And if there was a nice ten by Kevin Davis. Worth another look, even though it's only for a 10. This pin comes off the wall and wipes out the 3 and 6. Kevin with 36 through 4. Jeff Lezinski with 46 plus a ball. Kevin Davis with a 7 drop. Eight drop, actually. Another split, but this one is not quite as uh, intractable as some of the other ones he's had. He's got the two and the six. Piece of wood to the left of the two. He might be able to, a couple different ways he might be able to make this. And there's a nice bid there. He hit the right side of that cap and took out the two, but the ball didn't quite take out the six. Jeff Slazinski with a nine drop and another spare. He's got 65 plus a ball through, him, through the half. Kevin with a 10. So halfway through this string, you can see it is a 15 pin lead for Jesse Jakes and Jeff Kuzinski plus two marks. And we will show you the second half of this match next week.